I'd like to welcome all you ignorant ass bitches, critics, complainers, disgruntled rappers, <laughs> and racists especially, to the ninth annual international player haters ball. Oh man, hey, 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 man, you corny. Next nigga say something while I'm talking is getting shot. Hey man, my computer was apart two minutes ago. I'm just saying. Two minutes I, ago, we I had two minutes ago we couldn't. I had ten, I'm not gonna lie. Like, I had ten. You minutes. knew you wanted to do a show. You should have. Uh, I had ten minutes to get all this shit set up. You, sh- you should have prepped some earlier. Me, oh, fuck you guys. You should. You Ian. Ian, can you hear us now? I can hear you. Ian, this fucking dumb fuck had all our microphones turned off. Sorry. Not, not my fault. My computer's apart. It was his fault. Ago. It was his fault. No, not my fault. He's just gonna keep. You know, Who's the Jew? Uh, Nick. All right, yeah, well, I'm actually, Moe's the it Jew. Was my fault. Yeah, you actually should have been on that, Mo. No, I'm sorry, because you are Jewish. So you should have been on that. Okay, hello? Yeah, can yeah. you hear us Jerry now, Jerry? Fah! Now I can hear you. Can you get Holy some headphones? Holy shit, man! Jerry <laughs> Can you get some headphones or a good microphone? Why don't you Jerry shut up? Hey, sorry, Jerry, sorry. Jerry, I heard this rumor that you identify as a comedian. Is that true? <laughs> <laughs> Because I've looked at early photos and sets of you, and you're clearly not funny, but somehow you identify as a comedian. <laughs> funny. Oh, shit. Right out the gate. Jerry, Jerry, Jerry are you... Do you think the comedy is like a fluid uh, identity? No, Ian, 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 Jerry is what we call trans-comic. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think you understand the struggle of my people, and you kind of make a joke of us when you pretend to be one of us. <laughs> I like this. I like this. Is this a white guy I'm talking with? Oh. Ooh. Yeah, you know, it is. Same question every time you're on. But Jerry's, what? Jerry's whitewashed anyway, so it doesn't really matter. Jerry, is this true? I'm a nigga, so, like, you got to come clean if you, you ain't a straight nigga. He lives in Newfoundland. Of course he's whitewashed. Oh, you a Newfie, yes, my nigga? I'm Newfoundland. Oh, fuck. You a Newfie? Yo, Newfies yes. are the most fucked up people in Canada. Everybody knows that. I hope. First things first, I hope you know that. That's because it's been years of inbreeding. <laughs> That's what it is. They don't. It's not really their fault. <laughs> Jerry comes in. Jerry, let me tell you something. If Jerry goes to Newfoundland, Jerry is like a dream there because they see it's like, oh my god, there's a nigga here. Wow, like all we can we can reverse our whole people's trend if everyone just fucks him. <laughs> Gotta get some new jeans in there. <laughs> and he's the furthest thing from Newfie. So Jerry, going, Jerry, you really should Jerry just move shows to up his gayness just... trumps his blackness. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Anyway, how you crackers doing? Jesus, look at him trying to get out of it. Yo, Jerry, uh, like, are you in Newfoundland right now? No. Where you? Where you at? Where you at, my nigga? Nova Scotia. You should go to Newfoundland. Oh, Scotia's lit. Where you at, Tro? That's where all the niggas stay. No, Halifax. Oh, okay. Thing, Jerry, the word Board cracker Empire. sounds wrong on your lips. Mm-hmm. Like it, it feels like a word you've never used before. Like I, I kind of feel like you, you're worried that you're hurting feelings when you ask for animal crackers because you're so PC. That that's weird because I never cared what you said in the first place, Ian. Oh so. shit! <laughs> Ooh, you Jer- got told, Jerry. Don't care. Oh, oh shit! It's a knife fight on this bitch. The, that's weird. Is the fucking hack premise of every awful comic. Oh. Yeah, yeah, I love you, too. Yo, <laughs> yo, Jerry, like, I have a real question. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I gotta go to the fridge. If I gotta listen to Ian's fucking whatever voice, I need a drink. Hold whatever on. voice. God damn. No, I just like, I gotta be honest. Yo, I'm Ian, like this, this I'd like to say, Jerry. though, your uh, gayness trumps your funny. <laughs> I think. Ian, Ian, it's 2015, man. You know, come out the closet if you have to, man. I mean, yeah. Oh, I don't Jerry, judge. by I, the I, way. Jerry, I, I, Jerry, we, we got a story. Jerry, Jerry, we got a we story got for you. For you. Man. Straight, but... Jerry, Jerry, got a story for you. Jerry, you shut up. up. What you are, you are. Calm down, Nick. Fuck Jerry, oh, Jerry. Come out the fucking closet, Ian. We have a story for you, Jerry, <laughs> to help you. you. That I'll talk about sucking a dick. Mm. Uh, Jerry, Jerry, we have a story to help Ian you. Ian blew a guy. Ian blew a guy? Yeah. <laughs> you want it? What, what, what is this, junior high or something? Chris, can you tell what the story? I blow a girl? And no, this is my childhood, not yours. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I know. No, e- Jerry, Ian Blue. Wait, 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 guy. Ian, 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 is that picture uh, that you have on Skype a picture right after you blew the guy or what? <laughs> Deuces, baby. <laughs> oh, fuck. It's a picture of me after I got your mom pregnant. Oh, fuck. Oh. oh. Ooh. Is that, is that 
said this. And she said it was the lousiest 12 seconds of her life. So yeah, it's also the only 12 seconds of her life. <laughs> oh, nice one. Nice one. I'll give you that. Yeah. The but, only um, thing I like about you is you're, you're from Chicago. Talk- my favorite basketball team from Chicago. So you know how much he sounds like Mike when he says, I'll give you that. You, you know what I like about Jerry right now is I think Jerry Nothing? has become more of a I, Jerry, let me tell you something. I'm telling you about this about Jerry right now. Jerry is on the verge of becoming, like, a real comedian in that. Except he, for the no, fact no, no, that no, no, he lives in listen, Western Canada. Listen. In that he is getting pissed off. He's, about, getting, he's getting, getting more vicious. He's getting a lot more vicious, and he's more dismissive of people's bullshit. Yeah. And they, they, I think this show, Jerry needs to come on this show more because I think Jerry's about to really just be. Jerry's about to become a Yo, guy. Yo, Chris, before Jerry does anything, he needs to realize that. Moving from fucking Newfoundland to Nova Scotia is not moving west. Like that's true. Why? Jerry needs to if you if you decide you're gonna move, you know, west Ontario, you don't stop at fucking New Brunswick. Come to fucking like Toronto at least. Nigga. Jerry, Jerry needs to move to a place like fucking St. Louis. Like Jerry, he can't go all the way west, but Jerry is like a, he's getting pissed off. I don't know what it is about life. I think it's just Ian. He has, I think Jerry really dislikes Ian. And whoa, whoa! Don't ever compare me to that. Guy that I swear I once saw on a child offenders website. So <laughs> I'll Jerry, don't ever compare me to him. We weren't comparing you. No, see, just yeah. with me, Jerry's just combative yeah. now. Jeez. He's fucking angry. I love it. It's not fair. Yes, because my penis is a lot larger. So is that the one that you got after the operation? Should we call <laughs> you? <laughs> Yeah, thank you, Dad, for that. By the way, hey, hey, we have a lot of shit to talk about. Not a lot of time. Do we want to go through this whole fucking Opie and Anthony horse shit with Mo and uh, fucking Jerry, and then I want to get to Rachel Dolezal? Yeah, all right. Go right ahead. Let's get this over with. All right. Let me bring up the clip. Uh, Jerry, we felt you had um, rights to uh, make fun of me for um, for something I really fucked up with. Mm-hmm. Uh, I basically I, I made a call to – do you know who Anthony Cumia is? Uh, Anthony Cumia. Not exactly, but Anthony go ahead. Anthony Cumia. Wait, Anthony Cumia. <laughs> Anthony, yeah, Kumia. Anthony from Opie and Anthony. Nick yeah, called he's, into his he's show. never heard of him because Anthony's involved in funny. Right. Okay. So Anthony Kumia. Okay. Oh Jesus! I fucking hate you, Jerry. All right. So <laughs> we, I called into Anthony Kumia's radio show, and I, I completely embarrassed myself. I was awful. I was the worst caller on the planet. Worse than you when you call into this show. And, uh, and we, we felt since we destroy you so much, you get the right to make fun of me. Well, hang on a second, um, Jerry. Nick, huh? Jerry, it's Chris. Nick uh, treats you like shit, and he's always mean. And I just think, with the amount of shit that he does on you, calling you a hack, and you're not funny, and all this stuff, that you should be able to hear the biggest hack, faggity douche thing I've ever heard in my fucking life. Right. And get a chance to just tear Nick apart. So, this is my gift to you, my friend. Yeah, here you go. All right. Hey, Nick, from the hey. wonderful... North American oh, no, city of Toronto, yeah. huh? Yeah, this awful cold country. Um, I'm just calling. I'm wondering uh, you what you think Opie you might want to say off air that he can't say on air. You know, any speculations towards that? Anytime you well, want to pause I, and make fun of this, you can't. But so you know. As I had speculated <laughs> earlier, I think it comes down to there are certain things, uh, and again, these are some of the personality things that I had talked about that he can do when it's just me and him in a room talking, that he can't do in front of all of the fans. It's it's uh, like I don't want to deal with a passive-aggressive kind of a thing. You heard it during the great grape argument uh, back on the O&A show uh, when we were at XM. The great grape argument. You might remember yeah, that. Looks. I was eating grapes. This upset Mr. Hughes. We had an argument. And uh, that the way he dealt with that argument is very indicative of how he deals with a serious discussion like that. And I really don't like it and don't want any part of it. Um, so is it, is it just the passive aggressive stuff or is it more maybe like maybe he wants to say, hey, you know, it's done for good and he doesn't want to do that on air. It sounds like a really maybe factor. maybe that's the case, too. Um, yeah, and pause this, uh, weirdly you know, enough, he should do that on the air. I have no idea what <laughs> he the should fuck say. this is about. Th- right, thank well, you. Thank you. I'd ra- right now, I'd rather talk to Ian. Ian, what's up? Uh, I got a clip for you real quick. I'm not going to lie. That was cringeworthy. Uh, <laughs> uh, I'm just going to ask you. Uh, what do you think? Uh, what do you think? 
get it. I want to say it's off air that he can't be on air, you know. Any speculation for it, but anytime. You hear that applause? Yo. Here you go. Here's more, Jerry. No. Yeah. Just he stop. doesn't want it on the air. On the air. Uh, again, at least the fucking listeners kind of deserve it. And I'm not saying it's like our entire life should be on the air like some kind of fucking reality show. But when all is said and done with the ONA show, after all this supposed honesty that the show embraced over the years and yeah. how we would dissect other radio duos, breakups and uh, things like that, yeah. why wouldn't we? put that final chapter out there on the air. And again, I'm not looking at it so people, you know, hey, Anthony, it's just for your show. What? I'll do it on his show. I'll do it on fucking... Jerry, you have anything to say yet? Not really. I mean, it's mostly been Anthony Kumia talking. There's nothing to say. Yeah, you should really get to the part yeah, where like, Nick we can't speculate, Nick. Here you go. On the people that um, know us for so long, they know our personalities. I uh, I people been that have been listening since the NEW like days, months, you're, so not, I you're really not going to pull a fast... In this whole thing. Jerry, yes, you do. Just listen. Well, go ahead. Through listen, years of the show, it be, became like... Yes? How about Chris just summarizes the situation, and then we'll see if Jerry's capable of funny. Okay, <laughs> Jerry. Go ahead, summarize it. Anthony and Opie, probably outside of Howard Stern, the biggest on-air radio thing ever. They had yeah. a big breakup thing. Uh... And uh, this was the day Anthony came out and basically said his side of the story. And yeah. what you're Jesus about to Christ, hear... who's telling the story? Jerry Farr, get to the fucking point. I'm saying, shut the fuck up! Nick was about to make the whole day about himself and ask Anthony for psychological advice on how he should deal with people. See why this is a and bad Anthony idea? And Anthony was flabbergasted. This is a big bad, this is a bad idea right here. Because hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on a second. Oh, yeah, he she was trying to, to give somebody psychological advice. No, yeah, so he was requesting. I it. was asking questions about like things I didn't know Shut about. Shut the! Don't don't defend what you're about to say. Who said I was about to defend? Something? I feel I, like we should play the clip so that way we we don't get uh like we can't play it now. Jerry wouldn't say anything because how is he gonna dog the whole? I wasn't you saying anything either. The clip at yeah, the point Anthony Cumia was hold on, hold on, Anthony Cumia was talking. Right, what's he gonna say? Let's get to it. Like, Jesus what's Christ. he gonna say? Anthony Cumia was talking the whole time. I don't know where it is, so I'm gonna play and then skip. All right, nail it, and it's uh, it's quite entertaining to uh, read, by the way. I see. Uh, well, pause, you know, pause. I, I'm just wondering. See, now, Jerry, right here, Anthony was looking at his screen because he had a video thing, and he was about to go to the next caller, but Nick had to come in. Yeah. And make it all yeah. about himself in this show. Yeah, you can. You... Motherfucker. Let me pl play this show. I want to hear I, this. I, I run my own little. Well, and did you hear his smug I yeah. see as yeah. though he's let's, a let's fucking peer? Let's go back to like five seconds. I can hate this here. Kid. Here it is. It's, uh, it's quite entertaining to uh, read, by the way. I see. Uh, yeah, well, you know, I, I'm just wondering because I, I run my own little podcast myself, right? Uh, uh, who doesn't run? Who, yeah, who wait, the fuck wait, doesn't wait, run wait. their own podcast? Oh, God, I don't even have a podcast myself. I just don't give a shit, personally. No you, no disrespect you, to anyone who does have a podcast, whatever, but still. This is why this isn't a good idea. Jared's Jared saying no disrespect. Can you play it? Oh, I, I really want to get a clip. I everyone, heard it yet. everyone and their fucking dog is a podcast. Oh. It's and we try to be as honest as possible with each other, and it's fucking brutal. We basically uh, we we want to be junior O and A because we just oh, love that's you guys so that gay. much, right? I and now my you. question, I uh, my question would wind up being is if I'm the OP in the situation, which it, it honestly looks like it's going that way, how would I avoid being that? Okay, my first question is who the <laughs> how fuck would is you avoid like wait wait what say what Go you ahead, saying, my nigga? Who the fuck is OP? Oh man, oh. see. Because... Oh nigga, yeah, you should kill yourself, nigga. Yeah. Yo, Ian, you know why you're not allowed to talk? Because you suck the guy's yeah, dick yeah. because he sucks Yo, yours. Ian no it's cool, Ian's black in the same way that I'm a fucking unicorn. Yeah, no, Ian's like a narwhal said, though. You straight, nigga. Yeah, let me get that dick real quick. Hey. Hey, if you wanna come back if you wanna come up to Halifax, come on up. I'll give you some ass, man. It'll cost what? you fourteen ninety five. Hey. What? Jerry, did you it's just... How, that's how you do bringer shows. You'd be like, hey, come out to my comedy show. I'll give you some ass. What? Yeah, is Jerry... that how you get people to, like, 
laugh? Yes, what that's fuck, exactly Jerry? how I get people to my comedy shows. He, he's got like grinder posts. They're like, "Hey, help oh. me fight cancer. I'll give you that ass." Chris, you what's, the, what's grinder? Cancer. Chris, we fight ass cancer. Did you say grinder is cancer? Has, no, grinder is like, like Tinder for guys. Shut up a minute. Jerry just offered to give Ian some ass. Hey, whatever he's into, you know, All I'm right, comfortable yeah, myself. If he's, as long as he's comfortable himself. Yo, Jerry, I'm going to summarize for you. We're, it's all good. I'm going to summarize for you why Ian's gay. Basically, fuck what everybody else has to say. It goes like this. He's some, yearning for some big black cock. Some guy sucked Ian's <laughs> dick. <laughs> and Ian said, well, I guess I better suck his dick too because he was so nice. Let me ask you something, Mo. Is, as a Negro American, uh, Canadian, uh, have oh, you yeah, ever Canadian, offered American. to give anybody some ass? No, nigga. Mo. No, exactly. Wait, 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 wait. Wait, wait, Mo? That's your name? No, my name's Moshe. Moshe? Oh. I tree. I tree is the name. Wait, wait. Oh, okay, okay. No, I thought your name was Mo. Like, Mo from the Three Stooges. No, he goes by, he goes by I tree. Mo from Man on a Mission from WWE. Wow. Oh, Jerry's oh actually God. coming out fucking trying to swing at you, Mo. Yeah, he's trying to swing at me, but he's a nigga from Halifax, so he's irrelevant at the end of the day. <laughs> like, yo, once you live past Quebec, nobody cares about you, Canada. <laughs> <laughs> Who gives a it's fuck? Pretty, it's true. There's in the city in Halifax. There's like a hundred thousand people, and That's we right. got six or at least eight breweries in Halifax. So everyone's gonna what be drunk out of their fucking Black mind. Well, and like a Mexican. Are you like? Are you like a tour agent? You like take people around Halifax. We have the uh, seventh brewery on the right over here. <laughs> uh, we're coming up no, on. Uh, no, that's a place. On that, First it's Street. called the Harbor Hopper. If you if you ever come to Halifax, Jerry, there's nobody a thing cares. The Harbor Hopper. Mm-hmm. Yeah, no one cares, Jerry. All right, so what, I'm not gonna lie though. Like, There's this great fish and chips. If you really want to laugh, if you want some decent material, go on the Harbor Hopper. I've never been on the Harbor Hopper. That's the reason I don't. Have any Yo, but Jerry, at the end of the day, nobody's going to fucking Halifax. There's nothing funny about Halifax. Nobody exactly. Cares. There might be. What's I'm not that hilarious. Yo, you Sorry. know what Halifax is like? It's a lot like London, Ontario. I'm not gonna lie. Like, yeah. Just white kids, drugs, hillbillies, and inbreds. Just a black hole for dreams. Yeah. <laughs> Like, I don't understand why he thought it was a good idea to leave. He's like, yeah, I'm going to, you know, leave Nova Scotia to go to Halifax. Out of all places on Earth. Yeah. You're the trailer park of Canada. Yeah, thank exactly. You. Thank why you. do you think we have trailer park boys, huh? That's like Jared, the only real breakable thing we have. Jared, the last time you were on the show, we told you to leave that fucking city. Why have you not left yet? My apartment's $500, and I don't pay for power. What the fuck does that have to do with You know with what? Anything? Fair enough. I guess I'm not leaving either. Shit. Uh, the fuck? Jerry. I, I can find you a place in Toronto that's $500. Jerry, you could come, no, Jerry, I'm just saying, Jerry, you can come to Toronto and live in student housing for like 400 bucks and get free internet too. Yeah. Like, just move here. What the fuck are you doing? I'm trying to pay off some bills. Pay off some debts. That you owe in Nova Scotia? Nobody Jerry. cares. If you leave, nobody cares. Yeah. Nova Scotia. They still have a ledger. Like, it's handwritten. You can just erase your name out. It's okay. <laughs> yeah. Just go in there with some whiteout, and you'll be all right. Come on. It's, 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 it's hey, Eastern Jerry, Canada, bro. Come on. Jerry, it's not that well, serious. No, the thing is, my place is $500. The police here are a joke. So, so leave. It, does, it does make sense to just leave. I actually went to uh, New Brunswick a little while ago just oh to do a God. set. Jerry, I was talking- willing to pay about $100 for gas uh, for a round trip, right? It's another one of Jerry's Just stories. to do a set in New Brunswick. Because a lot of the comedians in Halifax are ducking me like they owe me money, right? Oh, shit. Whoa, 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 whoa. What do you mean they're ducking you? because they don't like They're them. ducking you. I'm, try- I'm just trying to get yeah. some spots. I don't care if I have to... If, if I have to do a spot and not get a dr- and has, still have to pay for my own drink, you don't care something. if you got to give up some he, ass. Yeah, got to suck that dick. He don't care. He don't give a yeah, fuck. Tingle Gang- the nuts. Straight up, straight up gangster. Yeah. Whatever, whatever the fuck you're into, I don't give a shit. Strap. No, nah, but Jerry, this is about what you're into. Your bedroom is none Jerry, of my we're business. We're talking about you, right Jerry. This is what you're into. Jerry, we're talking about you right now. Jerry, Jerry, can I ask you candidly? Would you suck a dick to get a spot in Halifax? Would you? No. Not nah, not. Nah. Okay, would you suck a dick to get a spot in New Brunswick? <laughs> <laughs> oh fuck. Would you would you suck a dick to get your gas paid? No. Would you suck a dick to get your rent paid? No. Jerry, there has to be if Jerry, if you have debt You got to keep going. Keep going. Would you suck a Jerry, dick if this. someone sucked your dick? Hey, did no. you suck a get a dick to you get would. your job at the gay bar? I've been working at a gay bar for near 3 years, so no. Jerry, Jerry, okay, how about this? How about this? Whoa, whoa, what? Yeah, yeah he you works didn't at know a gay this? bar. You work at a gay bar, bro? Yeah, man. I'm straight. I've been working no, at a gay bar. No, the reason I wonder is because, years, like, so. I've been wondering, like, your voice is very, like, you have that. 
yeah. gay guy voice. So oh, like, yeah, man. Either you picked it up from these fags or I like. Might've, but I know who I am. No, you don't. No, you don't, my nigga. That's your opinion. That's your opinion. You're a black guy living in Halifax working in a gay bar. You are all the way confused. (laughs) Next month, here's the thing. In Halifax, next month is Gay Pride Week. Really? Good for you. What the fuck? Wait, wait, wait. It's happening in Ontario too, bud. You can come out here and and celebrate. Yeah, Jerry. Jerry, so Uh, if it's Gay Pride Week, does that mean all of a sudden you get some good tips? Like, you know? Hopefully. Yeah, I got some good tips last night. All right, speaking of business gay people. Is gonna be, wait, business is going to be booming for you? Is speak, this, now, wait. speaking of gay people, Ian. Ian, <laughs> yes, Ian. Please, like, explain to me why you thought, okay, I got my dick sucked. I should, like, just suck this guy's dick, too, because Re- it's the right thing to do. Ian, explain you know, yourself. You know, say what you do uh, while you're sitting on a podcast. But when you're blackout drunk and high and incredibly lonely, you're not sure what you're going to do in that situation. I don't Man, know. if I got my even no homo, I ain't get my dick sucked by a guy. But if I did, I'm like, okay, well, you know that happened. I'm not gonna be like, well, uh, better give him some too. <laughs> Quid pro quo. I always say that the black people are the <laughs> selfish, most selfish creatures on the planet. Uh, maybe race. Oh, be, so because you're better. selfless, that's why you sucked another like guy's dick. Up. All right, all right, guys. From let's now on, we should honest, be more though. selfless let's and start honest. sucking other people's dick. Let's, let's be honest. That is the most selfless thing you can do. I yeah, mean, yeah, definitely. So, Ian, yeah. would you describe yourself as versatile then? I can be whatever the fuck I want to be. Oh, I was not even talking to you, Jerry. <laughs> Jesus, Jerry. Jerry, I think you are kind of gay. Jerry's I, fucking I fully angry. said Ian. I fully said Ian. Jerry can be anything he wants to be. Yo, we're gonna ha- we're gonna give Jerry a test because oh, I think Jerry's gay, and if Jerry good. can define five wow. of these terms, is, he's gay. You want to give him five? Five terms. Ian, shut the fuck up. Ian, hey, shut the fuck up. Ian, shut the fuck up. We're trying to do a we, here. We are, we're going to have a quiz, and if Jerry can define five of these terms, he is undoubtedly here, here's gay. My pro- here's my problem with this. Okay? Why? Jerry, working at a gay bar, could define all of these things, and I really do think he's a faggot, so I mean, you know. But he hey, could... hey, hey, come on, man. That's, that's not Ooh, cool. that's over the line. Don't say faggot, faggot. Faggot. Fuck. Ian, though, might not know some of these terms. We don't know, though, if we give him the That's terms. So, yo, let's Jeopardy it up. Let's see who answers first. Ah, okay. So, wait, we need a buzzer or something. Fuck that. All right, all right. All right, we're going we're gonna to call it some gay-related all right, terms. All right, if you have the answer, yell faggot, all right? No. Okay. I'm not so. yelling that word, man. <laughs> Okay. Wait, 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 wait. Hanson. This word is no, I looked this up. I looked this up. I know it's I know it's really dry, but go with me on this one. You know how there are women, straight women that hang out with gay men, right? You know the term for them, right? No. What is it? F hags, right? I'm not gonna say the word, but you know what I mean. Faggot hags. No, no. it's <laughs> only part of it, but you got the point. That's only part but of it. I looked word. up the term for a straight guy that hangs out with a gay crowd. It's called free fly. And is that what you are? Are you a fruit fly? Jerry's a fruit fly. Jerry's a fruit fly. He's tall and black and easy easy to slap, you know. But hey, I think we have a way to do this. So ask me the question. I'll do my best to answer, and then Jerry can tell me if I'm right or wrong. Yeah, yeah, that works too. That works too. Such a fucking asshole. I like that. No. Oh Oh, wow, Jerry just Jerry just veered off. Anyway, (laughs) okay, every no everyone shut the fuck up for a second. Jerry, Jerry. Okay, why? Like Jerry and Ian really do not like like. Here's the thing. We know why. No, no, we I am not to get Shut up. I'm just we know why. I'm just ripping on Chris, him, man. No, no, you're I don't not. Have, you guys I don't really got a thing. Ian, I'm not like one of those guys because if I hated Ian to a, Jerry, that kind you. of consent, Jerry, I would Jerry. not have agreed to come on the show today. Jerry, it's Fair. not up to you. It's not up okay. to you. Right. Look, Chris, I can answer your question. Ian got really offended by what Jerry said the first time they met. Well, on here. Which, which is what? Jerry said that he got paid within, like, how many months of doing comedy? Like, three months? And, Jer- and Ian is like, what the fuck? This shitty comic is getting paid already. And I- Jerry's acting like it's easy. And so Ian starts insulting him. No, no, no. Him, it's and not. Jerry no, it's just not has to easy. fire back. It's not easy. I don't but it's not as hard as Ian makes it out to be. Hmm. I mean, I ran a show for about two years. And here's the thing. It was like a $2 show about, you know, three out of four weeks, right? When I ran my comedy show, it's basically two dollars, or if weeks. it was like near the end of the year, around the comedy. around the holidays, right? It was like pay two dollars or donate something or to dick. the food bank, right? Yeah, donate sperm. Oh my God, Jesus. yes. And then if if, if I was going to take sperm, I was going to send it to Ian's house, and his mom could drink it. See? The po- whole See? point is. <laughs> <laughs> 
That's disgusting. You've crossed a line. You've really started working blue there. <laughs> <laughs> the Doug Stanhope of Halifax? Uh, Jesus Doug Christ. Stanhope? Don't fucking monster. I opened for him, but he... But I'm not nowhere as good as him. Yeah, you opened your butthole for him. <laughs> oh, no. Okay, fair enough. No, I'm laughing because next month... You're not laughing, It though. will be five years since I opened for him. Oh, man. That's pretty special. <laughs> <laughs> for me, it is. Yeah, I mean, Ian, you can go to... You can come up to Halifax. Everyone will be laughing their ass off for you. But with me, I'm working my ass off even twice as hard. And... I don't know half the half the bookers around here. So yo, are Jerry, on a, me. On oh, a wow. serious... Ian might, Ian might, so what? Ian might go up there and be a success. Jesus, wow. Yo, you Jerry, really got him. Jerry, on a serious note, I it, think maybe he's how old are you, Jerry? Is it time to give up the gun? Like, is is that what's happening? Like, is it time to you know change your careers? I'm thinking about it. Yeah. How old are you? Too old to be doing this? Pretty much, yeah. Okay, hold on. Let's get this quiz started. I got my question. Let, let's do the quiz. Let's do the quiz. All right, wait, wait, here's my idea. Ask me the question. I'll do my best to answer. Jerry says if I'm right or wrong. Right, right. No. We'll, we'll do it that way. So, uh, no, Ian. And then, but we're going we're gonna to do it reverse, too. So I'll ask you a question. Jerry says if he's right or wrong. And then we go the other way. I ask Jerry, and then Ian says if he's right or wrong. Yeah, All Jerry right? loves going the other so way. It's like Hollywood yeah. Squares. I say an answer, and Ian says I disagree or agree. Right. You each it, right? get a question. That kind like, of shut the fuck up, and let's right. hear the question. Right. Okay. Yeah. So, Jeez. what is the term for? Gossip too hot to spill without at least one pinky finger held a fold. I've never heard of this, so no, you, Yo, Ian, you can take this one. No, that was for Ian. Okay. What's the term, Ian? I have no idea. What Yo, the fuck Nick, it's probably fuck? it's probably better using the terms and making them describe it because right, yeah, I couldn't. You, I, I, fuck. Well, no, I mean you got to go both ways with that. No. <laughs> yeah, All right, because you're a just person. like Ian's Wednesday nights. Anyway. Oh. Ooh. Okay, Ian. It's funny because it's true. How... <laughs> <laughs> sure. Um, I can't even get a share on that. Oh, right. Sure. sure. Oh, it's fine. It's, that's enough. That's Ian's enough. dildo just wants to be friends with him. Anyway. All right, Ian. Define the term pause. Uh, when you stop in the middle of speaking? <laughs> okay, that one. The reason I know this one is because <laughs> I've been okay. watching the Boondocks for yeah, exactly. a couple weeks. Thank you. Let me explain what it is. It's when you say something that can be misconstrued as gay, but then afterwards you have to say nope. no homo nope. in order for wow, they, what? all of your they, friends. They both don't know it. What? I thought that's what it yeah. was. It's spelled P-O-Z, and it's a person who is living or just maybe thriving with HIV. Fuck. <laughs> wow. That is not what I thought it was. I thought it was like pause. Okay, I lost that one. All right, now, this, feel... now this question's for Jerry, all right? Yeah. Jerry, define the term otter, O-T-T-E-R. I have no fucking clue. Ian, you should know this one. <laughs> like, ha- wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. In the closet Sorry, we, we have to add out, rules man. in the middle of the game here. You can't say I have no fucking clue. You have to give, like, an idea what of what an you think it is. is? I'm going to guess that it's something like a, a fucking a cub or a twink or a bear where it's like a, a submissive something that gets cummed on its chest. So, wait, Ian, like, given your stature, Holy shit. would you, um... Wait, wait, whoa. Holy shit, he got it. <laughs> Holy, <laughs> it's a fag. <laughs> a, an otter is a hairy gay man too slender to be considered a bear and the generally agreed upon limit of really pushing this animal thing. Shit, Ian, you are an otter. Fuck, bro. Oh, my God. <laughs> Okay, so what's the score right now? Okay, next one. Ian's uh, an otter. Wait, wait. Is the score against you or uh, for you? I don't, I don't know, know, but I'm I know Ian's an otter fucker. Is. Yeah, Ian's an otter fucker. Um, okay, so... So the next question... Nothing. Okay, now the next question is for Ian, because that one was originally for Jerry. And remember, you have to give what you think it is. You can't say you don't know. So, okay. what is a F to M? FDM, I gotta assume it's like face to mouth. <laughs> Wrong, Jerry. Uh, F to M. F to right? M. Yep, F to M. Um, fuck, I am, I am so. Give, give us an idea. What do you think? I'm, I'm just, I'm just gonna think of some of the stuff that Ian might have looked up on the internet and think <laughs> foot to mouth. I don't know. Damn it! No, you can't. You can't copy what Ian said and then give us. Dog, just give him the answer, I'm, man. Like, like, fuck, all right, man. F to M or M to F 
is if you were to describe a trans person's journey from one gender to another. Jesus Christ, even I know that. So yeah, <laughs> Jesus. Jesus. So female to male. In this yeah, case. that's what it, Jerry, that's what it is. It like, could have been M to F. Craigslist ever? Or, all right. Or TG or something my, like my that. Joke. Wait, what's Chris. TG? Yeah. Transgender. Can I take control of the show for a minute? Yes, no. please. Oh. This segment is going nowhere. I really want to have Mo. Your in career a- is going nowhere. Oh. So let's- oh. Oh. To be yeah. fair, you did say he would thrive in Halifax. Yeah, so. you did say he would. His he career would- is actually going to Western Ontario, Eastern Ontario. Yeah, so. like no offense, Jerry, you can't say that after you go. Man, if he came in here, man, he'd be like the Don Rickles of this place. You can't <laughs> do that. Yeah, the Don Rickles. Anyways, Ian. Well, I like, come to Canada. Yeah, I'm done oh, with that shit. Oh, yeah, anyway. Ian, thing, why don't you, you come to Canada? You know what the Canada? thing is? Ian, I respect you as a comedian. Shut up. I respect. Let me finish. Let me Whoa. finish. Ooh. Let me finish. The one thing I've always respected about the U.S. is because you've got the First Amendment, freedom of speech, right? With Canada, you don't exactly have that. Yes, you okay? do. What? No, what? So we don't what? Have ex- yes, we do have freedom no, of speech. Hey, 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 hey. Oh, the U.S. Right. has yes, freedom of speech. Oh Canada Twice doesn't exactly now. have freedom of speech. The second, like, the first time that I came on the show was for, uh, to, to defend Guy Earl, right? Who? The guy, guy Earl. Guy he was in Van- he's, a, he's a comedian from Halifax. He went all the way to Vancouver for a show, and he offended two lesbians, a lesbian couple, and he had to pay, like, 30 grand Right, right. I don't know for like hurt feelings or we, stupid shit like that. Yeah. But right, that's the thing. I want to do one show in the United States, you know, freedom of speech, whatever. With Canada, you know, I did a show a while ago. I called the police a bunch of fucking Nazis. But what the thing expect? is, I did this in front of a whole bunch of, I guess, uptown people or suburban people. Huh. I can understand that. But the thing is, if I tell that joke, if I were to call the cops a bunch of Nazis, yes, you got to see my sh- you got to see my <laughs> shit to understand it. If I told that joke in front of the police, can I cut you off, please? Or whatever here, can I cut you off, please? I might get arrested. Can I cut you off, please? Jerry, or something like no can one, I cut you off, please? No one cares. Because um, number two on the Canadian Car- Charter of Rights and Freedom says freedom of thought, belief, opinion, and expression, including freedom of press and other media of communication. We do have the right of speech. And then read the addendums to it. Let's say you basically can't. Uh, if it's as long as it doesn't infringe on any other rights. Yeah, their right to make someone feel good. So no, that's not a thing. That's not Jared, a thing. Don't try that. Mo, Mo, that's not a thing. Don't try that. Mo, please. That's not a thing. Don't Mo, try that. Right. He's, He's not right. right. Ooh. He's not right. Okay, you think that. Go ahead. He's not right. <laughs> Jerry, no, right. Jerry, I know I'm how far right. in school did you go to? You probably dropped out in grade 11 to become a comedian, and you're realizing now that's not working. So you have no say. First, Chris, first all, you're a nurse, then you're like a psych doctor. She's a 61-year-old high school dropout. Your mom? Second of all, my mom didn't graduate high school. She's nigga, this ain't about your mama. What about you, nigga? Me, so, I graduated high school. And then, and then what? And then you sold your I've body tried Nova Scotia. business school. I've tried so many other schools. And never just it just went for me. You know what? I just graduated high school. That's all I got. There, okay, I said J- it. Jerry. Okay, let me ask Jerry a question. Then you're uh, not authority on the Canadian Charter of Rights and Freedoms, and nor is Chris. Hmm. Jerry has some fuck the police attitude in him. Uh, how have you been discriminated against that you feel like the police are not on your side? Uh, many times I've had... A, uh, Is I had this a white when you roommate. jerked off on oh, the stop yeah. sign? Yeah, are you saying they fucked the police because they didn't let you jerk off on the stop sign? No, that's, that has nothing to do with it. You're reappropriating American black struggle into your own life. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I love how Ian, as a white guy, said you're reappropriating American black struggle into your life. Because yeah, okay, no, it's funny because a lot of black Canadians do that. Ian, a lot of black Canadians do that, so I commend you for that one. Because yeah. I had a white roommate a while ago. And oh, when I, I got home from work, the second that I went sure. to my room, about three people had come out of my room. And as soon as I walked in, there was one girl there who was just putting her pants on. Oh, so yeah. I don't know what was going on in there. And my roommate let it happen. So I kicked him out. He said he wasn't leaving. His name was not anywhere near the lease, right? Everything was under my name. Sorry about sorry. you being a snitch in a square. <laughs> how the fuck are you? How do you have a black struggle to not like the police? First of all, Ian, shut up. And second of all, let me continue the story. <laughs> Jesus. I'm not going to lie. Ian, 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 Ian struck an artery with that story. one. Yeah, <laughs> How do you not have a black struggle dislike to police? <laughs> <laughs> Fucking white ass nigga. Look, Jerry, we know the story. 
We've heard it. No, you twice. didn't hear this story. So I called the cops and basically said, "There's a person on my property or in my apartment." Jerry, I know this there. fucking we, I story. Don't, I know this. Here's what I love is that Jerry's like fuck the police, but I'll call them. Cause I don't know the story. I want to hear it. Jerry, continue. No, Dude, no, the story this story sucks. About nine years it ago. It sucks. Trust me. Well, I don't care. Well, why are you getting mad? This is where his roommate allegedly Continue, allegedly raped someone, and then he got involved in a fight, and the police were called twice, and the cop threatened him, and some other horse shit. Yeah. And then he tried to hit a cop. That sounds great. How, yeah, how and then he that? didn't go to jail, because there's no real racism Mo, in Canada. Mo, the story sounds great because Ian come, told it. Come up to Halifax and see. If Jerry told this story to you, I swear to God you'd want to kill him. I swear to God. I'm not going to lie, uh, Jerry. I've been to Halifax twice, and they love me. <laughs> I'm, my fa- I'm my family. It's a good place to visit, but not to live. So why are you living there, nigga? Wait, 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 hang a second. Hang a second, Jerry. Jerry, do they go, oh, so, uh, are you from around here or are you just visiting? And you go, oh, I'm from around Oh, okay. Well, I'll see you later, nigga. Like, wait, how do they differentiate who's black and lives there and who who's fucking black? visiting? <laughs> are you fucking kidding me? I, re- I really relate to the story about the struggle in Halifax because they always say, like, if you're looking to laugh, you should come out to Chirac because, you know, it's fucking great. Yeah, well, that's why they that's why they were nice to you. They're, oh, you're not from here. Well, have a good day. Ian, sometimes I wish you were that pastor that said he would light himself on fire to protest gay marriage. And I'm like, go right ahead. Light yourself on fire. Anyway, think- so let me finish the story. Uh, Jerry, Ian Jerry. just told the fucking story. Jerry, you, Ian told the story. We know the story. Jerry started the story the last time he was on, and he never finished it. I'm not going to lie. Ian told that story so well, I might suck his dick in hopes that he'll <laughs> suck mine after <laughs> Hey, whatever you're into. Seeing, Let me seeing as he's story. so selfless. So, no, this was about nine years ago or so. I uh, no one basically cares. said, I basically called yeah. the cops and Ian, they finish. came over. Ian, shut up for a second. My God, you're worse than a fucking wife. Guys, no can wonder I, put a I don't want a relationship a, a with minutes? anyone. Blah, 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 motherfucker. Is that why you ah. became gay? Because you're tired of hearing women nag at you? No, I'm straight. No, oh, no. <laughs> yo, that is not what you lead with. When someone asks you, is that why you became yeah, gay? He, he became gay for other reasons. Jerry, 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 I'm not he... telling the story now. Jerry! Yes, that's what we wanted. Oh, okay. All right, do what you want. Thank you. Thank you. I'm going to eat a pop tart. Here's the uh, thing, Jerry. It's Rachel Dolezal is blacker than you. I don't give a shit. Yeah, she actually Dolezal is. black. Look, Jerry, Mo has more reason to hate the cops than you do as a black man in Canada. He he has like actual reasons here in Toronto. Yeah, I, Mo, tell that story. Man. Yeah, yeah. Here's the thing: Mo hates the police because he's black. Jerry hates them because it's trendy. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> oh, I guess you they want to. It's not. I didn't even he tell said, the whole story. He stopped telling the so, story. So you're never gonna. Let's hear Mo's story. It's probably better. I want to hear Mo's. Honestly, I wish Nick didn't hype it up because it's not that eventful. I just no, thought... no. But you have more of a reason. It's not that great of a story, but it's. it's oh a... yeah, it's it's not that great of. a It's a better story than Jerry's. Thanks for coming to my defense, Nick. Fuck. Well, you just said. That's because no one wanted to hear it. Fuck. Yeah, but it basically, I, I just shit. got carded once upon a time. You know, carded where they pull you over, they ask where you're from, they throw you in the back of the police car, they check you out, and then they say, "Hey, well." Uh, Go on home, kid. Go on home, or hey, and, and, uh, we think you did something. Yeah, well, basically... You don't have carding in Halifax, right. Jerry, so I'm surprised that you don't have an opinion on this. <laughs> Another thing you have an opinion on that you're not informed about. <laughs> you know, you started off this show like liking Jerry. I'm pissed at Jerry, because we kept telling him, we heard the story, Ian summed it up in, in like two seconds, and then he goes, let me finish, all right, we get it. Yo, but... um. I'm going to take control of the show here and let Ian out the gate because he's really wanted to talk about Rachel Dolezal for a while. So, you know, Ian, like, All right, go ahead, speak Ian. your piece, boy. We got to talk about Rachel Malik Shabazz, the white bitch that thinks she's black. <laughs> Rachel Malik Shabazz. Oh, she's fuck. What? And they're talking about, like, transgender. You know, whatever, whatever you're happy about, you know, whatever you're happy with, whatever. I'm just that person. Whatever you want to do. What are you a fan? <laughs> Jerry, Jerry, ha- Harrison. Do you think it's the same thing to be transgender and trans race? I don't care. Whatever you're into, that's what you're. That's your Jerry, thing. Jerry, do you know what transracial means? That you want to be that you were born one race and want to be another. He knows race. very well. Can't actually, you tell Jerry's transracial himself? Jerry, 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 do you actually believe that that's a real thing that a healthy, normal human being would say? I don't oh know. yeah. <laughs> Jerry, is Jerry. bigger something you should be able to check as an ethnicity? Yeah, J- Jerry, h- here's the thing that you got to understand is you talk about your supposed black struggle in Halifax, which is all bullshit because we already proved it, and Mo is over here going, 
talking about kind of how he's been fucked with a little bit by the police, right? So Nick, her, Nick have you ever been sorry, to Halifax? You go ahead, plow on through. Sorry, sorry, I forgot. I was, deal- I was dealing Jerry, with the bulldozer. Jerry, I'm not talking to you. Why are you asking me something? <laughs> have you been to Halifax? Yes. What the fuck are you asking me this for? I'm just asking. Okay, fair enough. Fair enough. No, this is the thing is, as I said, Halifax is a good place to visit, but not a good place to live. And again, I asked you how they differentiate between <laughs> black people that live there and ones that are visiting. And, that was and you Chris. have no fucking answer. By the way, that was Chris talking Shut to you. Shut the fuck up. I'm trying. I I was about to finish the story. Oh, oh you you're right. I'm sorry. They put it. So. We told no, you. No, Jerry, you're right. Have black that, people that live there get fucking to. sweet. A yellow star of David's on them, right? And it says <laughs> Jude, and you're right. Sorry. <laughs> Jerry, this we is told Nazi you. Germany in 1939. Jerry, we told you like ten times and nobody cares about your story. Just, just Rachel stop. Dolezal. Yes. She's pretending to be black, and she's hanging out with black people. She's the head of the NAACP. No, I know we, who she is. I know the story. Oh, well, that's important. Finally. She, thank you, Jerry, for getting off your stupid story. Now, can we talk about this dumb, half-white, not black bitch? You know, Honestly, right. I, I just gotta say, I she must have been lying her monkey ass off and pretending to be black, going like, "Girl, I know that's right. You better braid my hair." Mm. Some black. <laughs> oh, Jerry, like that one. <laughs> <laughs> what are the like, Jerry? What are the situations where you have to black it up? Yeah. I don't feel like I ever have to black it up. Because there's no hood he, in he, Ian, here's what you're not getting. Jerry himself is transracial, so he blacks it down always. Right. He he's trying to deny that shit. Jerry's white, like the plague. Jerry's whitewashed all the way. He's oh, transracial, bro. Yeah. You, act, you act like I have never been called a nigger before. Oh my god, Jerry! I, my dad's been called a nigger. It doesn't mean anything. <laughs> white people that's because you're nigger all the that's time. Because it you're fucking like white as Casper, man. That's just Jerry. No, can I ask you? All right, you go right ahead. Jerry, I can't be called a nigger. Jerry, I, exactly. Ian gets called a nigger all the time by like his mom. It doesn't mean a thing. <laughs> Jerry, being called a nigger does not mean the person calling yeah. at you is racist. This isn't 1970. That's not how it works. This is what I'm trying to tell you, Jerry. This is, can I explain something to you, please? I'm trying to help you with your black struggle, your fucking oppression. His black <laughs> struggle is he doesn't want to accept it. Jerry, yeah. what is Doctor Chris's opinion on this situation? That things like transgender. And trans now trans those are mental illnesses. Legally, that's a mental illness. Are you Mother- aware that someone being transgendered is a mental illness? Yes or no? They have a mental illness. No, I don't believe it's a mental illness. So the fact that someone okay, so okay, so the fact that it's let, in let, let me pose this question. So if I could give you a pill that would balance out the chemicals in your head, and you went, oh wait, I'm not transgender. I just had a bad chemical balance in my head. Is it then a mental illness that you, you should take medication for, or should you just, you know, have a surgery? First of all, fuck chemical balance. Number two, whatever you're into, I Hanson, have no opinion Hanson, against you're okay. it. Hanson, Hanson, what do Jerry, you mean? So you're okay with this woman going around pretending, yes, I'm black, you can't tell me I'm not black. He's the fucking Tom Cruise of Halifax. Yeah, like, how are you allowed? Yeah, yeah. yeah. You know, Chris? I'm not no, wait, husband. wait. I'm not Jerry, shut up. Shut up. I'm not the kind of person who works like Chris, if I'm not in Chris, authority being or any kind. All really you need no to say. do I'm... is have the right vitamins and exercise, and you will be black and you will be white. <laughs> Jerry, what as do you mean? As long as she knows what she's doing within the NAACP, as long as she knows how to do their job, All right, I have Jerry... no opinion against it because I'm not a member of the NAACP. Jerry, let me ask you the most simple ABC question in the world. If yes, I, I think you're a woman trapped inside a man's body. If there I, I do you actually believe that exists? If I if I change For Ian, the, yeah. Skin, <laughs> if I change the pigment, and he in my wants skin, to suck a whole bunch of cocks, including shut myself. Shut up, Jerry, for a minute. If I change How the pigment, I said that to okay, Ian, yeah, it's all about I'm it's all about you. Guy. Clearly, it's all about you. It's all, all right, about Jerry. you. Go ahead, Ian. Ian, seriously, go ahead. This go is ahead. The, this is the Jerry Phillips show. If I Who change the, the in my it's skin, does that make me a black person? I'm not answering that question. <laughs> Yo, you just Ian, did before. wait, hold on, hold on, Ian. You know why this is funny? Because that's exactly what Rachel said when they asked her. I told you this guy's fucking transracial. Oh my god, you are fucking the Canadian male Rachel Dolzio, whatever her fucking last name is. When they asked her, "Are you white?" she said, "I don't understand." 
You are. <laughs> I understand the question. And then she started uh, fucking lying about her parents. She's like, well, my birth certificate came out a month later. So I don't Yo, know Jerry that. is no. exactly the same way. Ian asked him the most simple baby. question. I'm not going to answer. So I, I actually didn't hear because my headphones were cut out. So what, what did he actually ask him? He asked, he asked Jerry if he changed the uh, pigment of his skin. Is he black? And Jerry simply said, I don't know. Jerry. I'm not going to answer. I did not say that. I said I, I am not answering fish. the question. Why not? Like, why? You will not why not? Yourself. <laughs> can we go Let back to ask something? this question to Mo? Because I think Mo can give us a, a right. an actual answer. Because yeah, he's actually it's black. Is black the color of your skin or is it an identity rooted in culture? It's color of your skin. There I Jerry. said it. Jerry. It's an identity, bro. So if I so if I get a tan, I'm a I'm fucking black. No, it's an identity. Cause look at, look at yeah, Chris. Nothing will make you black enough. Yeah, Jerry, shut the fuck up. You no, don't know so, what you're talking but, but about. Jerry, it, it is more an identity than it. Cause Jerry, yo, that's. I, I just asked you before. Are people who are transgendered mentally ill, or are is it legitimately true that you can be a woman trapped in a man's body? And you said... Yeah, I don't know. Ask Ian. Can, can we go back to what we skipped over? So, how, so you're telling me that, that it's possible to be a black woman trapped in a white woman's body. Can I, can I tell you what he said back that uh, we skipped that everybody missed? What? He said, fuck that chemical mixing shit in your head. Yeah. He, he said he doesn't believe in any of that. That's what he said. So, so Jerry... Yeah, we're just... Jerry, Jerry do you have a... I'm just going to ask this, Jerry. Um, what meds have, are you not taking? Do you, yeah, do you have a diagnosed mental illness that you just don't believe you have? <laughs> yes, it's called I don't have enough to drink right now, and I need to get another one. Is it because you're poor? <laughs> no, it's because I have to listen to your whiny little voice. That's oh. why. Ooh, shots fired again. Man, Jerry. like Jerry's point of view is like, well, if you're a white person and you get a traffic ticket, you understand the black experience. <laughs> <laughs> Same thing. No, I've gotten, I've only gotten one traffic ticket before, but that was a mix-up. The whole point is, I'm not like Jerry has the intelligence to talk of a gin regarding kicking my roommate out is that the police... Whoa, whoa, whoa! whoa. Oh, we agree we're not talking yeah. about that anymore. Shut the fuck up. Win Do games. you ever just answer a question? For real. <laughs> Jared, can you give me <laughs> one example of some real nigga shit you've done? <laughs> Have you ever participated in a B&E? Do you know what a B&E is? I know what a B&E is. Have you participated in one? To perform in a B&E. Yeah. Have you smoked weed that was laced with PCP? Yeah. Mm, okay. Wait, hold on. I got, I one got a point. good question. Jerry. How do you do your laundry? Is it all the all of it together, or together, or is it all just colors? You do reds, you do colors. blacks. How do you do your I laundry? Do, the way that I do it is white. There, here I'm going to say it: whites in one section, all colors in another, and towels in yeah. the third. Jerry's white. Oh, oh. Okay, Jerry, Jerry. no! It's you have like to some more stereotypical things. All right, Jerry, Jerry, Jerry. That, that is, is stereotypical. Jerry, 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 one. How old were you when you saw your first gun? My first what? Gun, pistol, revolver, nigga. He's my first revolver. Oh, my first revolver. Gat. Six. Mm, okay. What, on TV? All right. No, no, my dad says. Museum doesn't count. Yo, yeah, I'm exactly. talking about in real life, by the way, yeah. Yeah. Guns are not a black thing, but uh, DWB, driving while black, that's a black thing. How many times have you been pulled over for being black? Guns are very black You got thing. me there. You got me there. Have you I been turned down? We job. got you everywhere, Jerry. Oh, wait, You're wait, not wait. black. No, no, hey, son, hey, son. Jerry's right. They only pull over the black people that are visiting. He's right. Sorry about that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Fuck. All, all black people in Nova Scotia got a big sometimes, R for residents Sometimes it's about being car. smart. I'm, going, I'm on my way to a show. No, no word of a lie. And, I'm, oh, and, I'm, and I'm walking past about like three or four uh, white people. And one drunk girl says out of nowhere, hey, you're a nigger. Right? Yeah, she was right. <laughs> <laughs> that was a matter of fact. I see no lie in the statement. Yeah, but she, she was just talking about it on the outside. Jerry, Jerry ain't one on the inside. No, I walked past her now, and it's just one of those things you just don't say. I just want – I wasn't going to hit her. I was just going to – Whoa, gonna, wow. whoa, whoa. Whoa. Say it again. Was, Yo. Wait, wait. wait whoa, whoa. How mature of you? You weren't going to hit someone because they said <laughs> something at you. Oops. Yo, who went there? Why'd you, you know go the there? Oh, my experience. God. This guy said, I wasn't going to hit it. I'm not that black. Wow. I, I think it would be great if Mo evaluated his blackness and then Chris evaluated his mental health. And, yeah. Can I evaluate his whiteness? Fun. Yeah, and I'll be evaluating his funny, which is none. 
All Zero. Right. So Mo goes Can we first. evaluate Ian's in the closet homosexuality? Oh, man, that's raging. We that's raging back, asshole, man. You're man. fucking killing it. Jerry, Jerry, there's nothing to evaluate. He's a closeted homosexual. He's a raging fag. There's nothing man. to evaluate. Yeah. <laughs> Jerry, he, one thing you can say about Ian is he sucked dick and got cummed in his mouth. You haven't. We know he's queer. Next yep, story. I'm a real man, you faggot. All right, I got a little game we can play. Based yeah, on he's what... not scared to suck a dick. That's the problem with you. <laughs> I Wait, who won the game earlier? Jerry will take one for the team. Ian, won. Ian will take you one lost. for the team. You, you won't. The exactly. answer is we all lost. All right. Uh, look, I got a little game. Is we it because play. Ian's on the show or what? Shut up, no, Jerry. Jerry, let me ask you this. Um, because we're horny and don't have the sense to say no. Jerry, let me ask you this. Because Ian's horny. Right, you go right ahead. Sense Jerry, say. shut yeah. up a minute. Jerry, this is the... I'm sure something will stick. Jerry, you don't let anyone else talk, man. You Shh, like... Just shut up a minute, please. Can we please get Mo to evaluate his blackness? And yes. then I think Nick has a great idea. I've got a little game to play with that, all right? Mo gets one question, and then he gives out of 10 how black Jerry is. Chris gets one question, and out of 10, he gives how mentally healthy Jerry is. How about we do this? Who's blacker, me or Jerry? Ooh. <laughs> all right, I like that better. Mo, you're up. Fuck you. Now I got to think of, like, I'm trying to think of, like, that quintessential black thing that happened in my life. One good question. All right. Not one. Ask a couple. Fuck. Right, yeah, let's go with a couple. I, I'll too. go with a couple. All right. At what well, age did Chris? I think Chris is is uh, Chris knows about like ask him what sort of seasoning would be in his house that only a black person would have. Oh, I like that. But the thing why that differs is because like it's different because my mom doesn't cook, but I can answer for what be in my nana's house. Nah, but like Jerry might be like one of them Africans and shit. I don't no, know about no, I don't no, know about cool. them Africans. Dude, listen to him. There's no, no way. Up. What? Yo, at what age did you niggas stop getting beat? That's 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 quintessential. That's great, shit. Jerry. Did you ever get beat? Yeah. All right. At what age did you stop getting beat? That's the real question, right? Wait, wait. Uh, I got a better question, Jerry. Wait, wait, what are you talking about? My parents or by school bullies? By your parents, mother. Do you have to answer a question? By your parents, school bullies. Listen, listen. If you are a real nigga, you don't get bullied. To seventeen and bullies sixteen. Your you parents beat you longer than your. <laughs> You gotta, you gotta define bullying. Yo, <laughs> honestly, I give you a zero because niggas don't get bullied. No, no, wait, you got, you got one more question. Yeah, Nick, nah, niggas, niggas don't get bullied. You lost, my nigga. Niggas don't get bullied. How the fuck you get bullied, dog? How, how bad niggas got Yo, bullied? Jerry, how how tall are you? How tall? Am I tall enough. No, how tall are you? Answer the fucking question. Jerry, niggas five don't eight. get bullied. They get even. I'm five eight, nigga. I I I ain't got bullied in my eight. life. You're Me? not five eight. I'm Who? taller than you, and I'm five eight. No, you're not 5'8". Let's I'm, hear a story about Jerry being bullied. I'm 5'8". So what, I'm 5'10"? Hold I'm on, not 5'10". You're, I'm an, inch, I'm you're an inch above me. You're like 5'9". I'm way, not 5'9". By the way, the Blue Jays lost 13-9. Fuck off. Just so, yeah, just so you know. Um, <laughs> all right, so wait a minute, Kate. So so what do you give Jerry out of out of 10 for being how black he is? The fact that he got bullied to the age of 17, I give him a zero, dog. How about this, really? Jerry, zero? Jerry, Jerry, I got beat when I was 19 with an oak chair, okay? I think I win. <laughs> to, to be fair, that was probably the only time, though. No. Jerry, all right. I'm going I'm to I'm let you redeem yourself. Yeah, you got to come. You got to come. Yo, cards? this. Jerry, did you get what with electrical cords? Yes, what, no? means chest Jerry, you got to come with your best yo mama anymore, joke. This will prove how funny shot. and how black you are. You got to come with your best yo mama joke. Were you, who who was bullying Jerry? The albinos, the little girls? Were you getting picked on by girls in grades younger than you? No, they waited. You know what they did? They waited for the black people that were, were visiting to go away, and then they whooped his ass ah, and said, yeah, yeah, now you ain't got those <laughs> those good black folks that don't live here because they're only visiting. We only beat up niggers. Yeah. That's what I he said, like there right? Was girl in barrettes taking his lunch money. Wait, wait, wait. Uh, what do they call black people that are not uh, from Halifax, Jerry? Nigger. No, no, they're called the ones that are from Halifax, nigga. The ones that are not are just called visitors. You ain't got none of those visitors coming to help you, boy. None of them visitors. Can, can he answer your uh, most question real quick? Well, they, uh, they asked to see your what? passport when you get what, in the city. What, the yo mama joke? Yeah. Jerry, give Mo your best yo mama joke so he can properly evaluate you. That's, that's no. Not, oh, yeah. See, look, he's not a nigga. Because, yeah, like, honestly, like. He's zero. See, there's other subtleties of being a nigga. Let's, let's move on. Niggas, no, niggas don't back so, down. I really can't do it. Yo, Jerry, can you just do one thing for Jerry, me? You can you admit me? that you are not, like, black black, or you don't want no. to be? Jerry, do you want to be black? I am already black. If so. God came to you tomorrow and said, yo, Jerry, if you want, like, Jerry, we okay. could do it all over and you could be a white guy, would you say yes? No. You're lying. Of course. So lying. I would, too. Jesus, lying. I want good credit. Yeah. <laughs> 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 I, 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 I want some credit score, my nigga. 
Right, what? Is, how long is your penis? How, and the credit score. I want to hear both. <laughs> Answer the question. Do you want to hear Jerry. my credit score and Wait, my no, penis yeah, size? Yes, okay. that that this is the definitive question to find your blackness. Yes, it depends. I credit mean, score, credit score, go. I have a decent credit score. What is it? I don't even know my credit score to tell you the truth. All right, all right, you black, that's black enough. <laughs> <laughs> that's black enough. I don't know mine. That's black enough. All right, all right. So all right. My what's your endowment? What's what, your mama? Ha uh, ha! Uh, funny. What's your endowment? Come on, bro. My endowment? Yeah. Ask your mama. Jerry, yeah. you want me to tell you my endowment? No. Yeah, yeah, it's like. All right, look. You, Jerry, got, just, you probably got to put it in decimal. Just give him out of 10. I'm really gonna lie. All right. Uh, how black, honestly, how black honestly, out of 10? Out of 10, much like Jerry's penis, three. <laughs> All right, now, Chris, give him a couple questions, see how mentally healthy he is. I don't have to. He's insane. <laughs> so you just give him a zero? Have you heard him saying shit? Honestly, he, he believes he's transracial. All right, all right. So, yeah. We've already done that. Well, look, Jerry, have, Jerry, have you, you ever been prescribed any medication? Yes. Did you take it? Yes. What was it? Did you take it more than once? <laughs> no. There you go. <laughs> there you go. Jerry, you cut. <laughs> hold on, hold on. Cut what? Just have to ask. No, no, that's, that's my or... question. That's my question for whiteness. All right. Structure paper. What? Jerry. Jerry. No, no. Are you are you circumcised? Yeah, Jerry. Have you ever been circumcised? You ever hold on. Been... Let me check. Yeah. Have you? Ever... Cut, <laughs> let me check. <laughs> All right, now look, I want to. Uh, yep. I want to evaluate your whiteness. I gotta um, be honest, yeah, I don't like circumcised guys because I'm unclear. You're probably gonna win this battle, but Sorry. go ahead. If it's anything, if you're asking me questions about the TV show Friends, I don't know absolutely jack shit about that horrible show. No, some black people know about Friends. Um, I don't. And uh, defensively talking about your penis is a white thing. Yeah. I don't uh, give a shit about what Ian says. Anyway, keep going, Mo. Uh, hey, uh, Jesus, I'm not Mo. Fuck. Mo, Nick, whatever Jerry. you are. <laughs> Jerry, the same. All right, look, Jerry. When, when you had Thanksgiving dinner with your family, yeah, uh, what did you eat? Turkey, ham, ham, right there. Yeah. Was your pie sweet do, potato do or pumpkin? Any black people eat ham at their fucking Thanksgiving dinner? Yes, but do you ever? You never ate no ribs at fucking Christmas pie? dinner or fried we fish? We usually had ribs. Yeah. yeah. We or fried fish. We usually have ribs at barbecues, right? But at, yeah, but I'm talking about at Christmas, motherfucker. Thanksgiving, Christmas. Oh, about Christmas. Yeah, we had ribs at Christmas. Oh, yeah, I don't believe them. I really don't. Um, you gotta give them something more stereotypical. Though. All right, all right. I'm trying to think of something really. Don't, white. don't think of something you did at home. You gotta give them something stereotypical. All right, what about we don't have? I've never had that. What about rice and peas? Beans, yes. No rice and peas. Rice, beans, rice bacon, and peas. Yeah. Jared, rice and peas. Because I do know Chris, that, like, like shit, so stop rice and peas. It's, <laughs> it's, like, it's, it's this cringeworthy of hearing him like talk the, to Ashley Kubia. Yeah, that's like the part of the of it's, the it's pig that the so slave owners wouldn't Listen eat. to Jerry just talk yeah, right like over you. Jer all Jerry's the fucking knowledge is from, like, those commercials they used to have, like, Heritage Canada, <laughs> about, how like, the first black hockey player and shit. Everything he knows comes from. Do you know the name of the first black hockey player? Willie O'Ree. That was Where, Carl. What province was he from? I don't fucking give a shit. He yeah, played he... for the Boston Bruins. That's all I know. Okay, that's good enough for me. That's good enough for me. Jerry, you were bullied to the age of 17. Can you give us a story about being bullied? For real? Like, yeah. Uh, okay, Who I can do that. did you? Better question. <laughs> yeah, no, you know, I that's very you know, white. Can, I can let you know how luckluster Halifax is. Uh, I was walking. A wait, kid. wait, wait. wait. Was that, what was that word? Lackluster. I heard luckluster. Yeah, I heard that. Yeah, lackluster. Luck there was a kid. Who uh, looked at who uh, walked past me and called me a nigger, right? I you was hear called nigger often. Yeah, Jesus, <laughs> who was that? Your dad? No, that was the first. No, that was the first time it happened. And then the teacher who was in the class, this was an English class, right? She was this nice white lady. <laughs> the teacher was the one who respected him a everybody, right? <laughs> who demanded respect from everyone and said, yeah, "Once you respect me, her. I'll show you respect." And I always showed her respect, and she said, "You know what? You go downstairs to the to the office and cool down." And, and then you take I went and reported. I went, I went and reported the, the incident. Yeah, she was I had a white girl from Dangerous who was Minds, right next right? to me testify. She started giving you guys candy box to do good in class, and she started having that accent that went in and out. Wait a minute, hold on. Movie. I just figured out what Jer Jerry's telling us that his bullying story was just getting called nigger. That's not bullying, Jerry. No, it's not so but much that. It's that the school it and, and the school it. would do anything afterwards. Fuck yeah, you, Jerry. It was like the 1960s. Jerry, when did you get beat up? Yo, do you know what getting bullied is? Do you know what that is, Jerry? Yes, I know what being bullied is. Yeah, you, it didn't happen to you. When did you get beat up? All through 
What Did happened? Did anybody ever make you cry? Yeah, of course. Look at does it. Kicking, yeah. Does kicking me in the nuts count? Uh, yeah, I would say so. Yeah, a little bit. Yeah. Okay, once, yeah. So you got hit once. I got kicked into the nuts before, yeah. Once. Yo, Jerry. Once, Jesus. once, but only you don't, once. You don't I seem cried. like you've lived much life. I'm not going to lie. Friends like, mainly, do that. Mainly because I reported it and they didn't do anything about it, so and I'm done. Yo, Jerry, I, I'm going to say something. I noticed you like to, like, you are a white person because He's only snitch. white people report. Yeah. He's well, a snitch. I'm going straight to the cops with this, sir. He, nuts, like, he hit me in the nuts, sir. Like, yo, Jerry, guess what? When I got punched in the face, <laughs> you know what my parents told me? To punch them back. Right. Yeah. Was that philosophy ever, um, you know, bequeathed upon you? I was, yeah. I'm d- I'm doing that right nowadays. If somebody punches me, I'm punching them right back. I'm talking about when you're a teenager. That's a good thing to do as an adult. As an adult. Yeah. You know, yeah. back when you're you a teenager. You actually got shit to lose. That's a good idea. You know, exactly. back when you are a teenager, you couldn't go to jail for that shit. But now, like, you know, five years, bye-bye. Right. I, I think you got it backwards, Jerry. You, like I said, Jerry. You know what I don't like about Jerry? I got to be honest with you, Jerry. It's just only that you're trying to, like, be, like, a man now. <laughs> like... Like, when I was in high school, like, someone punched me. It's like, nigga, it's on. Like, that's what it was. When I was in public school, I had to fight every day. We fought behind the baseball diamond. It was like, it was literally no holds barred. You could do whatever the fuck you wanted. That's what I'm saying. Like, the when UFC I was in and wrestling started when I was in high school, the cool thing to do was walk around with a knife. Did you, was that, was wow. that cool for you? Like this is what I walked around with a knife, yeah. No, you didn't. Yeah, you today. Fucking liar. To be fair, that was like that at our high school. Let me let me tell you a story about bullying. That's true, actually. Uh, there was a kid that would always eat lunch by the smell by themselves because they smells. smelled like boogers. Yeah. Was it so, you, Ian? Because that I would definitely believe the story. Nah, this, Ian did that when he walked around in his underwear. <laughs> okay. In public school. Ian did that yesterday. <laughs> But we'd sit at the table next to him and just talk about how awful it must be to eat lunch by yourself and how your family's too poor to, <laughs> too poor to afford the hot lunch. And then we would just talk about how awful and poor they must be until they would cry. That's what bullying is. Yeah, Jerry, when I, w- when I was, like, in grade 7, I-, I got off the bus and this kid used me as a couch for 20 minutes. All right? That's bullying. Not not just being called some words that you yeah like. when, I was Jerry, grade, when I was in grade when I was in grade eight there's this kid who not, never changed his clothes. It didn't have anything to do with that kid calling me a nigger. No, no, we're I'm telling you what bullying is. What the we're telling you what bullying is. So, was we're so wait, passing, you're right. So the school bullied you, not the kid. <laughs> <laughs> Jerry, when Pretty I was a, when I was like in grade three, these kids took me and they locked me in this uh, cabinet that had like lawnmowers and tipped over gasoline, and I got locked in there for fucking two hours. You were locked in Ian's house? Yes, actually, you're right. Yeah. I'm saying that shit Jerry, is bullying. bullying is like, there's this kid who was too poor to afford different clothes, so he wore the same shit every day. So when they asked him, like, yo, why you wear fucking same clothes every day, man? He didn't have an answer for me. You know what I did? Took his juice box, sprayed it all over him, then I dumped pencil sharpenings on his shirt. <laughs> and I told him to come with a different fucking shirt I like tomorrow. That. I like that. Mo is like, you better come correct. This <laughs> yo, thing happened. Mo, 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 he didn't come to school for the rest of the week. Mo, Mo, that was fucking dope. I'm not gonna That's bullying. Yo. Has, that ever, has any of those scenarios ever happened to you? I like how Mo did the public school version I've of been Tar dr- and Ever feathering. since yeah, I got exactly. out of high school, I've been drinking to the point where I forget half the stuff that I did as so a kid. You're, you're a liar, Jerry. You're come on. Alcohol. You're a liar. Yeah. You've never no, been bullied. No, I'm serious. Never... I mean, I just finally I love, started playing uh, Metroid. Jerry, early this I love morning, Jerry. So. Jerry has just fat mom feelings where he just has to drink and, and vent. Yeah. <laughs> Jerry was never bullied. Jerry, yeah, you weren't fucking bullied. Jerry was never bullied in his life. Yeah, Jesus Christ. I'm pretty sure yeah, I'm pretty sure you lived like a great life in Halifax, Nova Scotia. Yeah, no offense. <laughs> like your dad was your dad. Come to point. Halifax and see what Jerry. Jerry! Jerry, we told you we Jerry, visited. We it don't live there. It doesn't matter. If we come there, me and Morgan are gonna be treated like kings because we're visitors. <laughs> you're the one who said this. Remember? Yeah, you're a resident. <laughs> doesn't matter, we'll never see it. Jerry, were you ever stabbed with a pencil in public school? Yes. Were you stabbed in the neck finger? And uh, somehow you got stabbed. The, in the neck foot. finger? What the fuck is a neck the finger? The neck finger and neck, foot. Comma finger and foot with pencil lead. It's actually carpet. The neck pink. Wait, what? Oh, uh, Jerry. All right, Jerry. Tell me about when you got stabbed. Jerry, answer question. Jerry, tell me about when you got stabbed with a pen- pencil. Because I know you weren't stabbed with no pencil, nigga. You lying, nigga. Yeah. If you were stabbed with Did a you, pencil, Jerry, you'd be a... at least an ounce harder than you are. Because I'm not going to lie. You are the softest nigga I've ever met. All right, Jerry, how about this? Jerry, how about this? All right, Jerry, 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 what's your top five for rappers? Oh. oh. My five top five for rappers? Yes. yes. Chris Rock. Thank you for repeating every question. You yeah, fucking exactly. suck. Win Do games. you ever just answer a question? Yeah, and you swallow, Ian. Now we're even. 
Well, it actually yeah. didn't swallow anyway, it. He tasted oh, it and spit it out. See how I repeated what you said? That's clever of me. Yeah. Yeah, but I believe Ian asked you a question. I'd like you to yeah. answer it. Answer it, please. Top five. I don't ha- Okay, top he's, five. He's looking up real Method quick Man, on Google. Red Man. Okay. Interesting. Uh, does Beastie Boys count as one? Yes. White guys. Okay. Cypress Hill. Uh, More white guy shit. Yeah. Who cares about what white guy shit is? I know what I like as rappers. Uh, Sage Francis. You Sage Francis. Yeah. How many is that so far? Four. That's four. Three white. And guys. there's a friend yeah. of mine who's a rapper. Her name is Tara. And oh my a god, girl? I like old hip hop. I don't white. like the whole. Uh, I don't. I don't like the whole. God, da, 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 oh, niggas, what? This shit Jerry's is, white. Uh, Jerry, he Jerry, is white. That's like a Metallica that. song you just did yeah. there. That's J- not... Jerry's white. Jerry's white. Jerry, He's what white. music do you listen to? This guy said Red Man is his number one favorite. I like, white people I like love my, Red Man, by the way. I like my music. How I like my sex. Loud, hard, and over in five minutes tops. Hey, we have a special guest. My girlfriend, she's Irish, and she's practically translucent. <laughs> oh, I'm not going to lie. Now, she are not... you sure you mean translucent? Hey, uh, I'm hey, just making sure you want to stick with no, that. No, I'm just going to say this right now. I'm just going to say this about <laughs> Ian's girlfriend. If she, if she lost those braces, Courtney. I would love to fuck her. I'm not going to lie. Like She Courtney. she, she looks like a delicious little fat white girl. Like, Jer- just, I'm just saying. Jerry remembered Ian's girlfriend's name. Did you hear that? Right. Name? Courtney, what are your top five rappers? Hi, Courtney. Hi, Courtney. Hi. Um, Wu Tang Clan, Tribe Called, Quest, Atmosphere, Brother Ali, and we'll go with Soul Position. So you see that, Jerry? That's 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 what uh, I know you what fucking said. Atmosphere. Are. Just, what did you go through? I just rehab? don't feel like she's I have a, to listen she's to. She's a white girl. I mean, you got to figure. No, I don't. I, I don't mean, have to listen still, to that list was way better than what Jerry's. Hey, what did Courtney. Jerry say? His best friend Tara, Courtney, Courtney, who he's still Courtney, in the friend zone yeah. with. But let's be honest. Courtney, Ian wrote Benny. those down for Courtney. Ian's got a little paper Hey, mamacita, bien mamacita. <laughs> yo, Jerry, are you still in the friend zone with your favorite rapper? Is that why? Is that why? Yo, yo, get a, get a get a photo of her. Up. Just get a photo of her. Up. Yeah, all right. Let's bring up a photo of Courtney. Uh, let's get let's get one of. Yeah, I've never seen Courtney before. Uh, so I have a I have a I have a spot in my heart for for fat white bitches. I have to be honest. She's not fat. What are you talking about? She was a little bit fat in the picture I saw, but she likes dinosaurs and shit. Let's call her thick because she has. Ian, are you dating oh, right, a thick? I prefer. Girl. You know what? I Yo, honestly, I you know I realized Ian's a nigga at heart because only a nigga would say that. Let's call her thick. <laughs> Ian said he liked them thick I bitches. Must be, I must be remembering a different photo. Yeah, she's dude. She ain't fat. I didn't see her. Jesus, she isn't fat. Wow. Hey guys, I must guys, be thinking of a different this, bitch. And I hate to say this. I got, it's Ian, like you a nigga at heart. Six o'clock here. I got to do my laundry, or I won't have any clean clothes for the rest of the rest of the week. All right. Anyway. All right. What are we going to do without you? Yeah. Oh, my God. Uh, Hi, ho- Courtney. Well, hopefully, Ian, you're probably going to masturbate over me. Anyway, i got to head out. Oh, Thank you guys right for having there. me on the Jesus. show. Later. Jerry, Jerry, just one thing. Can you please admit that, one, you are gay, and Courtney, two, you do not want to be black? Off. Yeah, I love Jerry, being black, Jerry, and I know I'm not nah, gay. Jerry, tell us you're Jesus. white and that you're a faggot. Wait, that's Courtney? Mm, How yeah. about fuck you mm, and no? Mm, anyway, I'm out. Mm. Jerry, you suck balls. Courtney, Courtney, when those braces coming off? Courtney? You coming to Canada anytime soon? Without Ian? Yeah. Yeah, I'm here. No, it's no, no, no. I don't want you to be yeah. there, Ian. No, no, we ain't talking get, about get you. We talk about her. We we talk to I don't know how Chris said she's fat. I, I must have been. I must have been thinking of a different bitch. I'm yeah, because yeah, she's she's nice and thin, but man. But she like in the she in the dinosaurs, right? You in the dinosaurs, right? Courtney, you there? Just, yeah, yeah. I understand. You see those big old tickle biddies, and uh, you assume that the rest is big, but it's not. So, oh Jesus! Ooh. Well, sorry, sorry, Ian. You... Yo, click her actual page. Yeah, yeah, Courtney yeah, Lee, was... click that shit. Mm. All Don't right. put her last name out there, you piece of shit. Sorry. It's on her Facebook, dog. Jesus. Man, she just got to lose She only have two photos? She just got to lose it. When Embrace is coming off. I just, yep, that's I a deal know. breaker for me. I'm sorry. Yeah, straight. <laughs> Courtney? Yes? Yeah. Well, we would just want to know when the braces are coming off, because it's a deal breaker for Chris. <laughs> Might be a deal breaker for Ian, too. Jesus. I don't know, five more months. Five more months? Oh, that ain't too long. Shit. You, you come, you go, you go and come. Yo, I'm not going to lie. Yo, Ian, yo, can I have a moment of silence? Like, Ian, uh, I'm not going to lie. I did not think you'd be able to, like, procure such a good-looking female. All right, Mo, I want you to spit your best game to her. <laughs> we also want to know why. Uh, yeah, why, eh? you, Like, why do you only have five pictures and, like, most of them are Ian? Because <laughs> she's secretly Ian's manager, too. <laughs> That's what Ian don't want to say. <laughs> Ian, Ian don't want to blame her for his career being shit. Yeah. Courtney's in the background going, get out of there. You're, Ian, they're Ian ruining thinks, your Ian career. Thinks, Ian thinks if he fucking marries her, all of a sudden, like, he's going to get the door to be on, like, Letterman <laughs> and shit. <laughs> sorry, sorry, Courtney. That's why he's doing this. He's doing it for his career. It's not about you. Sorry. <laughs> I like her. She's laughing at this. This is good. Not going to lie. Ian's a nigga on the lows. I never realized this. 
Mo, are you going to spit some game to her? I'm going to spit some games to Courtney. Hold on. <laughs> He's trying to think of some stuff right Fuck now. Fuck, yo. I'm, you know, I'm just put on the spot. I got to be honest. I just, I just can't, I can't deal with fucking braces. Why did you get braces as an adult? Like, you got money now and, like, credit, so you said, fuck it, I'm going to get the good teeth? Like, what was yeah, this? Yeah, I saved up my money, and I had really cr- fucked up teeth, so I had to fix them. Why not just put gold fronts? You'd be good. Yeah. Yeah, get some grill. Because she's not a nigger? <laughs> <laughs> you see how Ian had to jump in there because she was already feeling it? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, she's she's feeling see, see what I'm saying? Yeah. Ian, Ian, the you whole point is you're not supposed to defend it. how hard it is to eat potatoes with gold fronts? <laughs> <laughs> Don't kill me. Mm-mm. All right, well... I don't know what song to end. I don't know song. why I thought she was a fat bitch. Oh, play um. Fuck. I have to be honest. With you. Play it ain't safe by Skepta. I uh, hate squash. Oh. For ten more minutes because the show's gonna get a lot funnier. Is it? Yeah. <laughs> what, what, so like, um, st- like, did she just start doing? He wants me to spit my best. Let game, me ask you but, a question, um, Corey. Let me ask Chris. You shut up, you Courtney. Shut the fuck like, up. Let me ask a question. Can you just take my number and then you know I'll text six four seven, two two nine. 0299, and then, like, that way Ian doesn't have to, like, fucking cock block me every time that's, I say something. I, I, got a, I, have, guess, jackass. <laughs> I, I got a question for Corny. Like, huh? is like, like, once Ian, once you caught Ian trying to get, like, some, some new pussy, and he proposed to you or whatever, right? Did you just, like, start doing crunches or some shit? Like, like, why did I think you were a fat bitch? You saw a picture somewhere else of someone else, man. I swear why to Why did I think she was a fat that, bitch? I, that no pic- idea. That picture with the braces has been up there since uh, we've known Ian. Well, geez, I don't know. I don't have her on here because she likes dinosaurs, and allegedly I made fun of that, and now I'm a piece of shit because I made fun of dinosaurs. <laughs> you did. You gave me such shit for it. I'm like, I feel like I'm obsessed with them. Sh- <laughs> shut the fuck up. Yes, you are. You want to be a paleontologist, do you not? What do you do for a living? Yeah. She How do you wants, make money? She wants to be a dinosaur. Yeah, I manage a coffee shop. Ooh. Why, so why the fuck you give a shit about dinosaurs? Why aren't you giving a shit about mocha lattes and shit? And he got it. Uh, just out of curiosity, when's the last time you got laid? Ooh. Um, good, good, good on taking that from Ian. Let's see. Yeah, yeah. Good, good, um, I'm good move, Ian. It would have been... It's funny, because I actually call him out on this all the time. <laughs> it would have been in February. It's from, right. a, from a from a button person. A button. You know, <laughs> it's all good. You guys know Ian ain't getting pussy on the regular like that. He's, oh no, he's way. clearly pussy whipped. Well, he's definitely. Got have a- you ever? Have you ever caught? I, I have a question. Have you ever sucked Ian's dick or in, in general, um, and got like the skin caught in your braces or just pubes? No, That's they really never happen. Of anything. Well, see. She- well, okay. First off, do you suck dick? Yeah. Do you want a strap on? I, shut up. I'm asking a real pertinent question. Nah, that's a real question. Yeah, like, Ian, I feel like Ian takes yeah. it from okay, her right. ass. Ian would want Does to it bother you that Ian blew a guy and let him come in his mouth? Yeah. No, it doesn't bother me at all. And I don't own a strap on because I have the biggest dick you'd ever imagine. Ah, Paley J. I knew oh, it. Okay. <laughs> I knew it. Well, this is great. That's good. Ian, you're, you're, you're a real good sport for this. I hope, uh, I hope Ian come, uh, lets you come in his mouth. <laughs> Does Ian blow you? <laughs> ah. You know, it turned out there was a report that squirting is just pee. No, it's not. No, it's not. That's what the scientists say. You, f- you know it's what? Not. These are also the scientists that say like Jerry's not insane. Scientists him, also so. like remade a chart for dick size so that like um like a three inch cock so is, is medium. about your small penis. This is about squirting. I got a question. <laughs> I have I have a question for for Courtney. <laughs> All right, and then Do you most... believe? Shut the fuck up, Ian. I'm talking. I understand about you. <laughs> yeah. Don't Jesus. talk to me with your false confidence. <laughs> I, I don't Ooh. have false confidence, Ian. Yeah, shut up. Chris it's trying to get some pussy. Off, so shut Chris the fuck up. Pussy. Yeah. Okay. Um. Do you believe that um, you can think you're another race, and that's what you are? Like, do you believe in the term transracial? I'm asking this as as a white woman with braces, or even another gender. <laughs> yeah, that's a white woman with braces. <laughs> well, no, because they are, this is what I don't like. I'm asking this because I see it on TV. They got white women talking about this, but they don't have white women with braces. So I need your I need your minority opinion. <laughs> <laughs> um, in all honesty, uh, unless you're dealing with the shit that the people of that race go through, you can't claim that you're that race. Okay, fair enough. So hey, as a race, you, of... you see how she answered the question without repeating the question. <laughs> no, Jerry yeah. doesn't understand. So, so uh, my question though is simply is. As a white woman with braces, what do you find as discrimination every day? Like, do people call you? Do people call you Jaws? Magnets? 
No, I actually make fun of my braces more than anybody else does. Really? Is that, is that, now, is that, all the time. is that because you genuinely find it funny or is that like the whole, it's a defense mechanism? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. No, actually, I think it's hilarious. Okay. Well, I think it's, I think it's good that you, you decided to get some money and get some braces. I do. Yeah, get those. Thank you. Yeah, I, but, I really um, needed your, uh, your approval. Well, you know what? You so, sorry, Jesus. Well, well I, I, I thought you were, uh, you know. You know, I was a little uncomfortable this looking at this. Nick talking to fucking Anthony. We don't need you. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Shut the fuck Thank up. You. you and Nick, you don't get to say anything. I didn't say anything. I didn't say anything. I didn't say anything. <laughs> Jesus, what? Sorry, I want I'm, I'm smitten with this. I figured out why Chris can't get laid, because he talks to every woman like he's correcting their father issues. <laughs> yeah, fuck. Yeah. Yo, you see how red he is right now? Oh, my God. He's embarrassed. <laughs> you know, I'm not embarrassed. I'm upset that that's the most truthful shit. the bar shit. and tell him that he's proud of him. <laughs> That's true. Dude, you know, I really like your braids. I'm real proud of you. You're uh, <laughs> I'm proud of you for getting your braids. Woman, why don't you get this dick real quick? Yeah. Sure. I have a podcast. It's real good. <laughs> for, for answer, I don't Yo, Ian, where were all these Nick. jokes when Jerry was on? That's fucking Nick. As soon as Jerry you know, left. Hard to make a joke with Jerry. He's exactly. like the anti-comedy. Yeah, man. Yeah, so, so, I noticed. Like, you were a, you were a different <laughs> animal in there. Yo. So, so, so I, I the actually habit. I have one final question for, for Miss Corey. Now, um... You knew Ian was trying to get side pussy. Why didn't you just try and get some strange dick? Yeah. Why did you force him into this whole marriage thing? Ooh. <laughs> All right, she didn't force me in. It was my idea. I, I didn't did not ask you! Know. I don't believe what that either. When he proposed. Um, because I'm not a person who needs to go get side dick. It's one person, and if they don't want to deal with me, then bye. Ooh. So why did you, so why are you still so with him? That means there's no chance yeah. for us, Why are you still with him? There's no chance for us? Yeah. Is that what you're telling me? <laughs> no you fuck black guys. guys. I'm with him still because I knew deep down he really didn't want to fuck it up with me. Do you fuck black guys? I wouldn't fuck it up with you, I promise. <laughs> <laughs> Have you fucked a Negro, yes or no? No, I haven't. Ian, if, Jesus, Ian, Ian you if, gotta pimp her wait, out. Yo, 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 Chris, 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 way. Chris, yeah. Chris, it's not all about you. Get her Ian, some Mandingo 10 day. years down the road, like, you know, like, you know, things are going, like, dry and shit, and she said she wants to change it up. Just holler at me for a cuckold, please. That's gonna happen fucking the day please. of the wedding night. Yeah, man. Please, Ian, <laughs> Ian, Ian, Ian. Man to man, holler at me up for a cuckold. Please. No, I, I'm curious. I'm curious. Is there, is, as your friend, I will fuck your wife. Is there, is there any race of, of people that you would just say no? I don't want to fuck. Just because of the race? No, no. Just because like, maybe because you think they're icky or something. <laughs> <laughs> I don't really hold any kind of like standard like that. So, but so how come you haven't fucked the black guy? You live in Chicago and you haven't fucked the black guy. Are you well, the black guys have all wanted me because I'm a, I, I've got ass and stuff. But no, I, I've never wanted to actually fuck one. Not not that yeah, I don't have yeah, anything. What's the end stuff? There's no reason. Yeah. There's no reason to wait. There's no reason to not take some BBC dick. <laughs> I don't know. Like, 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 like. There's no Obama type niggas that you wouldn't, you wouldn't want to fuck, or you would want to fuck. There's none. She loves her dad. She has no reason to disappoint him. Uh, oh, <laughs> well, see, that's all she had to say. Uh, By the way, I am definitely an Obama type hey, nigga. Hey, like, I'm not one of those Chief Keef niggas. I thought you were one. We need Courtney. Courtney yes, Courtney you, you are not an Obama nigga. I am an Obama nigga. I'm upstanding. No, we, oh, I got a job. Wow, you pay your bills on time. Congratulations. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Obama nigga, which means he's a Republican. <laughs> <laughs> I like the Moe's about as good at spitting game as Jerry is at coming up with jokes. Listen, I'm amazing at spitting game, but you're over there fucking cock blocking. Yeah, I don't like that you're feeding her lines. She can speak for herself, Ian. This is 2015. You don't own her anymore. (laughs) Anymore. Well, you know. She's about to own him. That's true. (laughs) Did she just leave the room? Is she, like, uncomfortable now? Yeah, probably. Yo, Yo, Ian, can I seriously be invited to the wedding? Yeah, I want to go, too. Are you pouring Ian a drink? (laughs) <laughs> is that is that the first time we're gonna meet? Yeah, sure. Why not? Yeah. <laughs> we'll meet at your wedding and then cuckold. Yeah, I, or, or even like you know, like I'm maybe kidding. I'll I, fuck her. Who do you think's gonna be friends. filming the fucking thing? Ah, oh, yeah. yeah. I'm the one with the fucking video camera. Can I are, MC are you, it? Are, are, yeah. Well, <laughs> MC the wedding or the cuckold? Can I be the priest? I've already yeah. got experience oh, in the molestation. <laughs> you know, we've been trying to think of a good. A uh, good place to get married, and uh, since speaking to Jerry, I think we should get married in Halifax. Yeah, exactly. Oh my fucking god! Jesus <laughs> Christ! I actually like the idea of that. Here's what you do: you have all black people at your wedding, so Jerry just to see everyone else be treated better than him. <laughs> <laughs> fucking asshole! That guy's a f- Jerry. You're a fucking liar. He's Fuck a fraud. You. All right, well, uh, Courtney, thanks for coming out with your train tracks and everything, and. Um, I hope you come back. I mean, Mo, Mo's taking a liking to you. Yeah, you have a real great voice, Courtney. I'd like to hear it again, seriously. Yeah. You so, like, um, you know, if you ever want to, like, you know, just talk or whatever, 
zero two nine. I know sometimes oh, you know Ian don't be coming correct, so where can I, they, I can always be here for you. And where can she hit you up on Twitter? Oh, you know, M to the Izzo. I actually deleted my Twitter. So oh, you so. deleted Twitter? Yeah. Oh, all right. Well, you can. But sorry, you can add me on Snapchat, baby girl. It's um just sneaker file. Just hit me up on Twitter then. All right, it's Charlie's little guy. I'm, uh, it, it just says I'm a product of a good molestation. You know, uh, you'll know me. Ian, I'm actually coming to sh- Chicago for your bitch. I'm sorry, my nigga. <laughs> He's coming. All right. Well, you know, I want to want to thank everybody for, for listening and Ian for bringing his girlfriend for us to hit on for, for a minute because we don't get around girls enough. Whoa, speak for yourself. <laughs> thank you. And uh, and I want to thank Jerry Fire for uh, not being black. Oh, yeah, we're never inviting him on the show again. That was yeah. a mistake. That guy is a fraud, and I've been telling everybody that since the beginning. And now we all know. All right. Uh, till, uh, yep. Follow me at Chicago Open Mic on Twitter. Check out my podcast, ianellis.podbean.com or ianellis on iTunes. And uh, doesn't uh, Courtney have a podcast about dinosaurs and shit? Does she really? She stopped doing it. She got a blog. Oh. Whatever the fuck it is. I told you she's a fucking dino freak. I swear to God, I'll pretend to like dinosaurs just to get with you. <laughs> yeah, wait, what do you think of Jurassic World? Is that just like yeah. a, a, was that just like an exploitation? Was dra- yeah, it was dra- appropriation of dinosaurs. She didn't like it. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, th- this movie was like <laughs> birth of a Jurassic nation. World it wasn't where it. girl outran a T-Rex with heels on. Yeah. All right, well, enjoy the dinosaurs. Uh, peace. It's your mommy on the phone. Niggas want to kill me. Tell them go and get you. was the hour